Understanding, when, in non-defining relative clauses. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we will dive into an interesting aspect of English grammar. Non-defining relative clauses using, when, for times. This might sound a bit complicated, but don't worry. We're going to break it down into simple, digestible pieces. First, let's take a moment to remember what relative clauses are. Relative clauses are parts of sentences that give us extra information about something without starting a new sentence. They often follow the noun they're modifying and are introduced by a relative pronoun like who, which, that, or in our case today, when. But, what do we mean when we say non-defining relative clauses? These are clauses that, while they provide additional information, do not specify or define the noun they follow. You can remove them from the sentence, and the sentence will still make sense. They're just extra details, often enclosed in commas or brackets. Now, let's tackle the core of our discussion today, using when in non-defining relative clauses. When is typically used for time-related descriptions. But remember, in non-defining clauses, these details are not essential. For example, consider the sentence. I fondly remember last summer, when we went to the beach every day. The clause, when we went to the beach every day, is a non-defining relative clause. It's extra information, the sentence is still complete without it, but it adds context and depth to our memory of last summer. Enough theory, let's put our knowledge into practice. Here are a few exercises for you. Try to identify the non-defining relative clauses with when in these sentences. 1. My birthday, when I usually have a big party, is on Monday this year. 2. 2018 was a fantastic year, when I traveled around the world. 3. I enjoy the quiet mornings, when the city is still asleep. Take your time to identify and understand why they're non-defining relative clauses with when. Don't rush, learning is a journey. That wraps up our discussion on non-defining relative clauses using when for times. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to use what you've learned in your day-to-day -day conversations and writings. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, keep learning, keep exploring. See you in our next grammar adventure.